All right, at this point, I have my uh, drivers for my cable installed. I have the uh, uh, Tuner Pro installed. I have the um, the definition file installed, and I have the Tuner Pro set to the correct port. So I should be ready to connect my my vehicle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, one more thing here. I'm going to go to View. I'm going to make sure under toolbars I have basic RT emulation data acquisition data log and data acquisition send I want all those checked um, to make sure that I've got the uh, easy uh, toolbar access that, that I want to have for this okay now tuner pro will connect up to the ALDL Whenever the key is on, uh, if the key is off, it will not try. It will not connect. But uh, when the key is on, it will connect, and it will do that engine running or engine off. So I'm going to turn the key to on and not start, and I'm going to click the double arrow data acquire acquire data button. And as I do that, you'll see down here that it says uh, connect it. So I am now connect, uh, connected and uh, receiving information. The only problem is that we're not seeing the uh, information as it's coming in. And that is going to be at somewhere over here. That's going to be show data list views. So I clicked show data list views. And now you're going to see the information from my my vehicle. Okay. One of the problems that we have with this is you'll notice every once in a while it glitches. And in one of the next videos, I'm going to show you how to fix that glitch. That is a Tuner Pro problem. When you convert a version 4 file to version 5, sometimes the conversion process doesn't work right, and you get this data glitch every once in a while. So you're going to see a couple of things. You're going to see a throttle position sensor. Right now it says 0.67. As I push down the gas pedal, you'll see that changes. Okay, the 067 is actually the voltage, and then you can see it down here also again. And what that is is a percentage of um, full throttle to no throttle. Okay, and you can see the engine speed is at zero, and that is because my truck isn't running. I'm going to start it up, and now you can see the live data from my uh, from my truck. I still have my glitch going there but you can see a number of different things. So, a couple of ones here. Um, uh, the uh, tranny temp is showing minus 40. The reason it's showing minus 40 is because there's not a sensor for this truck uh, for transmission uh, temperature. And um, if you see anything that's a minus 40, that's an indication there's no sensor connected. Um, now, if you see minus 40 for your coolant temperature or your intake air temperature, well, that's a good indication that your sensor is actually broken in, instead of just that you don't have one. So, a couple of different possibilities there. This is my live active data. I'm going to actually move a little bit here. You can see some vehicle speed. This is live data acquisition from my moving vehicle. So there you go.